This is a vocabulary presentation for the short stories Guilty is Not Charged and Deer Hit. As you're listening, please make sure you're recording the word, part of speech, the definition, and an example either I come up with or you come up with to help you remember the word. As always, if I'm going too fast, please pause this until you catch up, and you can also use the closed caption for text. The first word is assurances, and it's a noun. It's a positive declaration intended to give confidence, like a promise. <clears throat> the Witness Protection Program made assurances to the cashier that no one would know he had identified the suspect, so to promise that if that person shares that information that they would be safe. Assurances. The next word is buoyed, and it's a verb, meaning heartened or inspired, uplifted, like a buoy that lifts up. His parents' words of support buoyed his confidence to apply to Stanford University, so to lift up his confidence like a buoy would do on the water. Buoyed. Cameo. This is an adjective, and it means a small role. It has nothing to do with clothing that looks like a bunch of plants. Cameo. The renowned movie director Quentin Tarantino makes many cameo appearances in all his films. My friends and I try to spot him in each film. Students in your grade level make cameo appearances in your life, even if they are not your best friends. Students that might be cameos in your life. Next one is contend, and it's a verb, meaning to fight, to struggle, to compete, to argue, to contend. Even though I knew I would get in trouble for talking back, I continued to contend with my parents for the privilege to stay out past night. When you contend, you are a contender, to contend with your parents. Next word is exculpated. This is a verb. It means to free from blame, to prove guiltless. This uses the prefix ex, which means away from. So when someone is exculpated, they've been moved away from blame, guiltless. The witness testimony exculpated the suspect. She was free to go. The testimony moved her away from any blame. Exculpated. Next word is expurgate. This also uses the same prefix, ex, to move away from. Expurgate. To remove offensive or incorrect parts, usually of a book. So the publishers expurgate inappropriate material before students are exposed to it. Publishers may remove parts of a book that they think won't fit for an end result. Expurgate. Next word is glitch, a malfunction, an error. My phone had a glitch, so we had to take it back to GCI to fix it. I can't use a phone whose screen is blinking on and off uncontrollably. A glitch, a malfunction, glitch. Next word is gratuitous. <clears throat> this is an adjective. And it means uncalled for, unwarranted. The player's gratuitous foul earned her time in the penalty box. The other player was rushed off the ice to stem the flow of blood from her nose. Gratuitous, uncalled for, unwarranted, gratuitous. Next word is haphazard. This is an adjective, and it means totally lacking any obvious principle of organization. The room had a haphazard look to it with clothes strewn everywhere mixed with dirty cups, bowls, and paper plates. Haphazard, lacking any organization, things everywhere. Perhaps your room has a haphazard appearance to it. Haphazard. Next word is insatiable. Insatiable uses the prefix in meaning not, so not satiable, not satiated. Insatiable is an adjective meaning incapable of being satisfied. The students had an insatiable appetite for anime. They binged on it every day after school. Insatiable. Maybe you can think about something that you are insatiable about, something you just can't get enough of, never satisfied. Insatiable. Next word also uses the same prefix, meaning not. Inviability, so not viable. Incapable of sustaining its own life. Inviability is a noun. Out of the water, salmon have an inviability problem. Fishermen and women take advantage of it. Inability of sustaining its own life. So when a fish is up on the deck of a boat, it is, it, um, is an, in, an, in an inviable 
situation, environment, cannot live, cannot um, produce life. Next word is lapped. This is a verb. It means to fold or wind around something, to wrap over. It's also a homonym. It has some other meanings as well. Uh, as I pedaled as fast as I could to the finish line, my tires lapped up the trail. That's the example we want, to fold or wind around something. Another meaning of it you perhaps have heard is the track team lapped me on the run. They are much faster than I am to go around you once on a track. And another one might be like a dog or a cat lapping up milk from its bowl. My example is cut off on the screen here. But to lap, what we want is to fold or wind around something. Lapped. Obscured is the next word. Obscured. And it's an adjective. It means unclear, uncertain, hazy, fuzzy, indecipherable. The direct sunlight in my eyes obscured the image in front of me as I squinted into the sun. Obscured. This might happen in class when the projector's on the whiteboard and the screen isn't pulled down. You get that glare. It's obscured. Or if you're driving, looking out the window when it's raining and your windshield wipers can't keep up, things might be obscured. <clears throat> Next one is quivering. Quivering is a verb. It means shaking or moving, characterized by a slight trembling motion. The fire alarm was so long, we were quivering in the sleet, waiting for the sign to go back in. Quivering, like trembling, to quiver. Shunted. Shunted is a verb. It means shoved or turned someone or something aside or out of the way. The football player shunted the defensive player who attempted to get past him. So it can actually be physically to shunt, or it can actually mean like um, to ignore, to shunt something out of the way. Shunted. <clears throat>